The group of people which use instant messaging is increasing rapidly. Also, the acceptance for instant messaging in business life is still growing. On the other hand, instant messaging as we know it today lacks in supporting continuous workflow. We can see that in the following scenario. Stephanie works together with Mario on a big project. As a communication platform, they use instant messaging. Stephanie is waiting for an important piece of information from Mario, so she stays online. At the same time, Tim, a friend of Stephanie, feels bored. As he sees Stephanie on the chat line, he decides to start a conversation. But Stephanie is at work and has little time. So she tells Tim impatiently that she is stressed for time. Both are annoyed. So how can we provide additional information about the user to avoid such a situation and support a continuous cooperative workflow. Here at Cooperative Media Lab at the Bauhaus University in Weimar, we tried to find a solution for this problem. The result is Premi Faces. It is the third part in the Premi series that addresses the selective disclosure of personal and context-related information in a client-side approach. PREMI stands for Platform for Research in Instant Messaging. PREMI Faces is based on Goffman's notion of faces. Every user has at least a default or public face, besides an arbitrary number of custom faces, for example work or friends. Each face represents a group of contacts with the same relation to the user. In our case, Stephanie creates a face named Work, containing Mario, and a face named Friends, containing Tim. For each face, users can now assign specific information sources, which are information they choose to reveal via the respective face. Sources can be sensors or free-form static information explicitly provided by the users, like the phone number or email address. Sensors are implemented as plugins. As reference plugins, an application, location, mouse, and CPU sensor are implemented. Additionally, to this configuration function, the user interface offers different options to configure the visualization. Options such as the visualization of contacts, outgoing and incoming information, and their quantitative relations, details about this information, and an information ticker. This also enables the possibility to hide unneeded information. Furthermore, a simple chat function was integrated with the aid of the chat plugin of the PrimiBase project. Therefore, PrimiFaces is based on the PrimiBase 3.0 infrastructures. As a consequence of this, every component is realized as plugins, such as sensors, as the graphical user interfaces, and as the chat function.
For the exchange and persistence of the user information, sensor values, and relations of sensors, faces and contacts are stored within the SenseBase infrastructure of the Cooperative Media Lab platform, Sensation. After configuring the system, Stephanie can start using PrimiFaces as a communication platform. Next time Tim wants to talk to Stephanie, Tim takes a look on the context information provided by Stephanie's information sources. He sees that Stephanie is still at work, so he decides that it is a better idea to play frisbee against boredom and talk to her later. And Stephanie can continue to study without being interrupted.